I'll be with you in a minute. And you, I would like you to meet Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi, Hugh. So, if uh, we take care of the business transaction, you two, of course, will be on your way. And, uh, Karen, I would like you to show old Hugh here why he would be more groovy and have more fun in Landview. <laughs> Shall we? Well, thank you so much for coming by. It's okay. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. I, I'm very worried about our young house guest, that's all. Tina. Yes, please, sit down. I really do appreciate your coming out here. I, I need your advice about her, and I just couldn't discuss it on the telephone. Hello, Tina. Well, Vicki, you didn't tell me to expect such a grown-up young lady. Yes, Tina. This is Dr. Will Vernon. How do you do? Hello. Doctor from the hospital? No, no, no. Uh, well, yes, I mean, he is from the hospital, but he's a friend. Let's see, just drop by. Oh. Are you having trouble with Kevin? Oh, no, he's fine. Uh, well, did you want me to go back up to him? Oh, well, only if you're enjoying it. Oh. Well, he keeps saying something that sounds like banku. Uh, would you know oh. what that means? Yes, in free translation, it means blanket. It's the blue one in the top drawer. <laughs> well, I'll give it to him then. Thank you. And Dr. Vernon? Are you one of my mother's doctors? No, I haven't met your mother, Tina. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. What's happening with her mother? Oh, Will, it's hopeless. Jim and Larry are both amazed that she's lasted this long. She could die any moment. Tina knows that? To tell you the truth, I don't know what Tina knows. But I know that she believes her mother's going to make it. Even though she knows how sick her mother really is? That's right. Will, I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know how to prepare her for her mother's death, especially since she ignores me and the facts. Of course, you're right in telling her the facts, but then you can't force her to accept it. I mean, she's going to have to get there herself. But how? She's so young, so scared, and so vulnerable. You see, her father left them, oh, some time ago. And it was a terrible blow to her. It left her awfully withdrawn. Now, I mean, this, there's nothing compared to what she's going to be facing now. I'd let her visit with her mother as often as possible. That way, the seriousness of the illness will become apparent to her. Oh, but that seems so harsh. Of course it is. But then there's really no other way, is there? And Jim and Larry will be there to help, and they'll be able to explain it to her medically like you can't. Oh, that poor little girl. I know. When a child's in pain, there's really nothing much we can do except just reach out and say, hey, I'm here. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to do these days. Of course you are. I'm so sorry about Brad. Very much, Will. It helps just knowing I'm not alone in this. Will, we'll talk again. Okay. You know, it's strange, but... When there's a death, sometimes new feelings get born. And I think that Tina's going to find that. And I think that you're going to be the one who'll cope with it. I hope I'll be able to. Say hi to Larry for me, will you? I will. How is he these days? He seems okay. You haven't seen him recently? Oh, no, not nearly as much as we'd like to. But, of course, his hours are impossible, and Joe's aren't much better. The point is, I'm sorry about that, because I really haven't gotten to know Karen. Yeah, well, she's a... Uh... A lovely woman. Yes, yes, I think so, too. Oh, Will, she always seems so pressured and so nervous around me. Now, am I the cause of that, or is it something else? Maybe I'm borrowing trouble. No, no, I, I've been concerned about Larry and Karen, too. Uh, he's so tied up with his with his practice that, uh, well, you can't help but wonder what, what time has he left over for the family, you know? You think he ought to pay a bit more attention to his wife? Well, what man couldn't? Joseph Francis Riley, that's who. <laughs> Who's going to stand up against that perfection? <laughs> Look, at, uh, getting back to the wolves, maybe you can help there a little bit, huh? In what way? 
Or with Karen, as a friend, just let her know that you're available. Well, yes, yes, I, I suppose I could do that, but are you sure she wants that? No, I'm not. It's just a, just a hunch. That's good enough for me. Oh, well, I'll see you later. Okay. Look, will you tell Joe to stop hiding from me? I mean, I'm not going to hurt him. I'm just your friendly neighborhood shrink. <laughs> yes, and you're the only one I know who makes house calls. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Aunt Vicky, guess what? What? I spoke to Mom and it's a whole new ballgame. What? Well, she sounds wonderful. She's more energetic and she's feeling much, much better. Well, I bet the hospital will let her out soon, and it'll be no time at all before we're home. Miss Higgins, I'll get it. Hello? Hello? Vicki, it, it's Karen. Why, Karen? How are you? wondering if you would happen to see, have you seen a wandering husband named Larry Wolek around? Have you? Have you seen him? Do you mean today? Oh, yeah, the last couple hours or so. No. No, I haven't. Uh, actually, I, I imagine I haven't seen Larry in the last couple of days. I guess you've tried all the right places. Uh, look, I don't want you to worry. Uh, he's probably on a house call. Forgot to leave a message on his service and tell him where he'd be. Yes, well, I'm sure that's where he is, so don't you worry either. No, no, not at all. Part of being a doctor's wife. Well, you sound like you take those things very well. <laughs> Why not? When Larry's days get long and involved, I just think about how wonderful it is when I have him around. Good for you. How's Danny? Oh, he's, he's fine. He's, he's adorable. He's just sweet and affectionate. I could just, just eat him up. Karen, would you happen to have some time free soon? What? Free to do what? Well, I just thought maybe we could get together. We haven't done very much of it, uh, just the two of us. Well, uh, sure, that, that sounds just terrific. Sounds like a great idea. Well, how about tomorrow? Well, sure. Why not? Um... You want to come here? Yes, fine. Say around uh, five o'clock. Perfect. Perfect. I'll see you then. Yes, I'll see you then. Goodbye. What am I going to say to her? How can I even bring up the subject?